what's up welcome back to my channel today i'm doing a pool day get ready with me so i'm going to show you guys how i got this look all together and i'm going to be going over the pool essentials my new waiver for my hair and my everyday makeup tutorial for just your pool day glam if you're taking pictures at the pool or chilling whatever you're doing so keep watching but first i want to make sure you subscribe and turn on the little bell so you can get notified every time i post hey guys what's up today i am doing Oh, my straightener is letting me know that it's very hot. Um, today, I am getting ready to go to a friend's and we're going to have a pool day. Like a cute pool day though. So we're getting dressed, we're getting dolled up, and we're going to lay by the pool, take some pictures. I'm going to take you guys along on my getting ready process. And it's going to be super fun. It's going to be fresh. So we're just going to jump right in. First things first, we're having a pool day, which means there's going to be a lot of sun. So... We need to put on sunscreen as our main moisturizer, which you should be doing anyway. I like found out, I just went to the dermatologist because my skin's been like really breaking out. So I've been going through it. But I went to the dermatologist and she prescribed this sunscreen moisturizer. So I'm going to show you guys. And you don't have to have it like as a prescription. I actually saw it online too. So you can buy it straight from the website. But it is this Skin Medica Essential Defense Lotion. And it's actually a tinted moisturizer. So it's nice because, you know, sometimes your face doesn't get as tan, obviously, if you're putting on sunscreen. So this comes in handy because it has the little tint to it. So I'm going to take three pumps of that, you can see, and just put it all over my face. And I did not realize how important sunscreen is, but this will block from normal UV rays and also from your cell phone. Because believe it or not, like the light from your cell phone does affect your face and like the process of your scarring too. So if you have acne, your scars won't fade as fast if you're not wearing sunscreen. Which I used to think it was the opposite because I was like, oh, if I'm wearing sunscreen, like I'm not going to get sun on my face. And like if my face is tan... You're not going to see the spots, but it's actually the opposite. The spots get darker with the sun, and then it actually, once you lose your tan, you're going to have scars. So I'm just putting this all over my face, and I got protection. I'm still putting makeup on because, like I said, we're having a cute pool day, so I'm not just going to go bare face, but otherwise I probably would, and I just have this on. But we're taking pictures, and I want to look cute. So let's go. So now that you have your face moisturized, we're going to put on a primer. And I'm using the Porefessional Primer by Benefit. It's the Hydrate Primer. Take a little bit of that. And I like, I feel like primer is kind of a hoax, but I still use it. I don't know. I use it sometimes. Sometimes I skip. It's, I, I don't really know what it does, but I guess it does make a little bit more flawless application on your face. Oh. Oh my gosh, when I tell you my skin has been going through it, girl, my skin's been going through it. So we got the primer all over. Now I'm going to do my foundation and concealer. So for my foundation, I am using, let me make it look better. I hate when it like falls off the sides and looks so crusty. I'm using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Concealer and Foundation. So this is a super high coverage foundation, which is what I've been using because this is just driving me crazy, like my acne on the sides. And I think it's from the mask, so I'm gonna give you guys some tips to always change your mask, which I didn't realize at first. You're supposed to treat your mask like it's like underwear. Like you have to change it every day, you have to wash it all the time, like it should be clean all the time. Especially if you're wearing makeup, like you have to make sure you're keeping it clean. Because otherwise it's just trapping everything in your face. And old makeup on your face, like you would never just like use an old makeup wipe that you threw away. Like you would never use like reuse a makeup wipe, I don't think. But anyway, so we're going to put on this foundation. I'm going to do... And I'm not doing a super heavy layer. I don't want to just like be sweating with like a caked face, but I am going to cover up this so I can get a cute picture. Now I'm taking this flat foundation brush and I'm just going to blend it out. Make sure it's evenly distributed across my face. down your neck good to go 
Now I'm gonna add some concealer because I have spots that still are showing and shining through. <laughs> oh, oh, that makes me so mad. So for my concealer, I am using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. A makeup artist recommended this to me and it is a game changer. Game changer. Make sure you get the right color though because mine's a little dark for me, but actually it might be the right color and this is just too light. But anyway, this concealer is insane. Like it's all mattifying. It covers everything. Like it's actually my favorite and I'm not getting paid to say that, but I'm just going to apply it to the little spots that I see just looking, which actually that foundation is pretty good. Like I don't think I'll have to cover that much, but I don't want to be face tuning the shit out of my pictures. So <laughs> Even though I do anyway. Not really. I'm not that crazy on Facetune, actually. Says everyone that uses it religiously. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna do that because I don't want to go too overboard with the concealer, but I'm just gonna blend that out now. I put it under my eyes because I've, if you have dark circles, it really just like takes care of all of that. Another thing, I try to like make sure I blend it into my ears because Otherwise, you can see like this line here and it does not look good. And then of course down your neck. Insert funky music. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Insert some trap music. Mm. Insert my song, Biatch. No, just kidding. <laughs> okay, so now we have the face. You know, it's looking good. It's looking clear. Oh, okay. Now we're going to, um, <laughs> I'm like, what are we doing next? We're going to do some eyeshadow and we're using my favorite palette. This is like my favorite all time palette. It's my everyday makeup palette. It's the Zoeva. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Coco blend. And look at this. It just has the most beautiful, like summer autumn colors. And I just love it. It's like desert vibes. So favorite, definitely top top two and not two. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this little brush and I'm going in with Substitute for Love. And this is just gonna be the all over kind of color right here. Ah, oh, geez, I need a mirror. Hold on, I'm just like, yeah, let me just do it. I need a mirror. So I said this is all over, but I do like to leave like a little bit right on my lash line where I don't put this because I think it just kind of like highlights the crease a little bit more but it's not like I'm just putting this directly in the crease. I actually got that palette from BoxyCharm and I got this one from there too, but this one, it's cute, but it's not as cute, like, cause it's just too bright sometimes. And bright colors on me don't really look the best cause it's just too dramatic in my opinion. But I mean, unless I'm doing it for a photo shoot or something. Okay, so now that we have that, you know, just something slight, something slight. Now we're gonna add the crease. So I'm taking this angled crease brush and I'm going in with Freshly Toasted. So it's like the same color scheme, just a little bit darker. And this I'm really just focusing on the outer crease right here. Now that you look like a raccoon, no, I'm just kidding. Um, now we're gonna take just a fluffy kind of brush and just blend it all out so it can all kind of blend with my skin because it looks very like contrasted right now. So this is just blending it out up to the brow bone. You just use little circular motions. And then I also like to kind of blend it down under the eye just because I think it all connects it. Okay, so now that we have that all blend it out. I'm going to take that same crease brush and add a little bit of the red. So I'm taking the warm notes, like that reddish sparkly color, and I'm just going to add a little bit extra to that crease. A little more flavor, a little more spice, something nice. Okay, so then I'm going <laughs> to blend it out again. All right, so we're looking good. We're looking blended. Now we're really going to add the flavor. So I'm taking this little brush, little baby brush, and I'm gonna wet it because we're going in with some pigment. So I'm taking the Pure Ganache, which is the super pigmented, 
So on any of your palettes, and you can follow like the same thing with like a different palette. It doesn't have to be the same, but usually most palettes have a sparkly, super sparkly color. You know, they have a lighter color and then a darker variation of that. So you just follow the same kind of template. So this is going right in the very center and we're gonna do like a half moon type of thing. Literally just like that. Just adds a little extra, a little extra. Wow, I literally got foundation on my new sweatpants and they're white. All right, now I'm, oh my gosh. You guys, I feel like I'm about to have a panic attack. Now I'm going to take this angled brush. It's just a normal angled brush, Morphe. And I'm taking the super dark color. So this will be the darkest color in your palette. And I'm just gonna do like a little wing to kind of bring my eye out a little bit because I do have pretty round eyes. So I like to just do this little wing on the corner. And you just take it out from like the end of the half moon right there. Don't get too excited. <laughs> okay. Now your eyeshadow is complete. And we are going in. Going in. I'm going in. And I'm gonna go hard. We're gonna do the mascara and brows. So I'm gonna start with the brows because brows can be tricky. I'm taking this hourglass brow pencil in dark brunette. First, I'm gonna brush up the brows. Kind of make sure they're all combed out. And now I'm gonna go in with the pencil. And this pencil is really nice because it's like super skinny. So it really looks like you can make it look like little hairs. Love that. Okay. I think that looks pretty good for brows. Now we're gonna do mascara. And for mascara, we wanna do a waterproof mascara because if you're in the sun, we don't want it like dripping down. Or if you decide to go swimming, you know, you wanna kind of preserve a little bit of the mascara. Cause that I feel like is the most important thing. Like if my mascara goes, I go. Like I'm, I'm gone. Like I gotta, I gotta, I'm head out. So as always, I'm staying true to my Lash Sensational Maybelline Mascara. And this is the waterproof. So we're just gonna start applying from the root and take it out to the tip. And yeah. Now I don't want like a lot of mascara cause we, it is a pool day. Like we don't need to be doing anything crazy, but you know, we're just gonna add a little bit of flavor. We're going in with the contour. We're gonna contour a little bit, make it look like we already got our little sun-kissed look. I'm taking this Laura Cellar Lip and Cheek Palette. It's like a three palette thing, which it looks disgusting, sorry. Let me just like... So it's like this three palette thing. It has cheeks or lip contour and then a highlight. But I don't really use the highlight, but I definitely use the, the lip and cheek. So I'm going with, this is like the same brush for me. And then we're gonna just put that on the forehead. Just to kind of tone down, because my foundation is a little bit light for me. So I'm just doing like a half moon circle, outlining my face, giving it natural shadow. You wanna make sure you take it down to the temples and then to the cheeks. And then I add a little bit to my nose just to kind of bring it all together. Cool, looking good, okay. Cute. Okay, so now we're gonna do some highlight because you know we need to make sure that's like a little glowy, although I naturally, I think it's the sunscreen. Naturally, it gives you a little bit of a glow underneath. But I like that sunscreen because it's not like sticky, you know? Like it's not like, sometimes sunscreens feel so greasy and just like thick. So for my highlight, I'm taking this golden color right here. This looks absolutely, like my makeup looks busted, but it still works, so I'm not really mad. So I'm just gonna take this and put it on my cheeks. But you actually do it like right above your cheek. So I do it right here. And then whatever falls down, falls down. But I like to make sure my cheeks look higher than normal. This kind of blends out the eyeshadow a little bit more too. To make it all one thing. And then I put it on my temple. I don't know if that's normal, but I just think it looks cute. I'm going to bake, baby. So this is just to set all the makeup and make sure it doesn't get like greasy looking or shiny. 
So I'm using this Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And this is the best powder out there. Like I've tried so many powders and my friend was like, you know, Louise, you just gotta go in, you gotta get it. Cause it, it is pricier. Like I think, I think it's like 50 or it might be like 80, honestly, but it's so worth it. Like this thing, like I always wondered how people get their face like super matte and it looks like they literally have no pores. And like, I thought they just didn't have pores, but no. This thing is the answer. So I'm just gonna put this underneath my eyes, from the bridge of my nose, under my eyes, same thing on the other side, and then on my forehead. Cause that thing be looking greasy. <laughs> okay, here we go. And this is gonna make me look a lot paler, but once we like, I'm gonna brush it off a little bit and a little bit and it'll look better. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit and then I'm gonna brush it off. I didn't put as heavy of a layer as some people do. Some people really like bake it. I don't really do all that. I just kind of dust it. <laughs> so now we're going to move on to hair because yeah, I need to do something with my hair. I'm going to put extensions in because I just love the look of like longer hair. <laughs> I miss my, my short hair. It's cute, but that's it. It's cute. So I'm going to put my extensions in. We're having like a pool day, so I'm gonna do like beachy waves. I'm gonna brush my hair first, ew. Okay, so that's not a pleasant sound. Is this ASMR? <laughs> this is like the worst ASMR. That actually does sound kind of nice. The first one was a little too tangled. I'm doing my shorter extensions because I don't want like crazy inches. I'm just going to do like a, I think these are like 14 or 16 inch because I, otherwise I have 22 inch and that's like next level. But I think these look better with the waving because otherwise, you know, you're going to get this waved and then you have the super long and it doesn't, it just doesn't work as well. And I tease the hair just because it helps the extensions hold better. All right, you guys, so I have the extensions all clipped in now. It's like a nice length, honestly. I think it's like not too long, not too short. And I did actually have these waved before. So it kind of helps because I have them straightened. Otherwise, sometimes I miss pieces because it is a little tricky to use the waver when you're, you know, you have it all like all these little pieces of hair stuck in there. <laughs> so anyway, so I am using the INH hair waver and I'm kind of going to review it while I use it. Um, but they sent me this INH the waver and it's just your basic waver like this. And it actually, but it comes with a glove and I love this because I would be burning my hand like crazy otherwise. So. I just start sectioning off pieces and start waving away. But I especially like this because for extensions, um, it's really nice because it makes them blend really fast. Like they blend so much better. Um, so I heated it up to 410, which I actually should probably take it down a couple because I don't want to burn my extensions. And this thing does get a little hot. So anyway, okay, so now you take your little piece of hair, take it all the way up to the top and just start crimping away. I usually start it by my eyebrow because I feel like if I start Start it higher than that it starts looking a little weird and it's kind of hard to start it higher when you have extensions let's see how this goes okay so we do that and then you just slide it down and the key thing here too is you want to make sure that you hold it up because if you if you're like dragging on it it'll bring out the kink so it'll like take out the curl that you already created with the weight that you have on it so you want to hold it up like this so it kind of still maintains that curl up there and then as you get further down obviously there's less hair so you don't have to hold it for as long but look it's so cute and i think the extension curls a little bit better than my hair but this looks cute it's like mermaid vibes i love it oh it's so cute now these are the tricky parts because with short hair it is kind of hard to get like these under layers but i'm just gonna go in like that and just kind of do one crimp on it so as long as it's not like pin straight, I think it'll look okay. Yeah, okay. All right, so we're gonna keep crimping away. I think it did a pretty good job. I don't really like how it's like at an angle, but I think that's like me. So I gotta work on that, but it does blend pretty well. And it looks cute. Like this wave is adorable. Yeah, I love that. 
Okay, keep crimping. I love how there's a mitt too. Although I do kind of wish I had another one for this hand because this thing right here gets pretty hot. Ow, oh my gosh, it gets so hot. Which maybe that's what the mitt's actually for, but I also need it for this hand because I'm putting the hair in, you know? Yeah, I kind of wish there were two mitts. It's just hard to do otherwise. Ah, oh, it looks so good. Aside from, I think I need to redo this piece. That piece looks a little wonky. I need to redo it. But I gotta make sure I redo it in the same exact spot because otherwise it won't fall with the other one and it'll look, you'll be able to tell it's extensions. Like, it keeps going sideways. Dang it. See, this is why you need that glove because otherwise it's bad news. Look, oh my gosh. There we go. Okay, that looks a little better. I think it is just gonna like look a little bit different in the front because it's my hair versus the extension. And it's kind of hard to get that piece. We'll try it again afterwards. Let's move on to the side. <laughs> See, and I also straightened my hair before. If you have naturally kind of straight wavy hair, I don't think you'll have to do this, but I straightened my hair. So like it's naturally gonna be more spiky and not pick up as well on the wave. But I have to do this because otherwise it'll be frizzy and like my natural hair just doesn't work well. Like I, I straighten my hair before I curl my hair. Like I do it before I do everything. But it is kind of nice because like it kind of guides you on the way down. Like it lets you know where it falls to put the next crimp in rather than like, cause you, that's important. Otherwise you're gonna have it like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, let me pull this one down a little bit. There we go. Look at that wave, okay. Oh, that one turned out so much better than the other side. So like night and day. So maybe I'm just better at doing this side too. Cause that could be, could be a thing. Yeah, the top is where I have to hold it for the longest. <laughs> Why is that ow? I'm not gonna have to do as much since I already have like the majority of it already crimped, like the bottom parts. Wow, this wave looks so good. This one looks busted, whatever. I'll just take pictures like this. <laughs> So looking good, I got my waves, my beachy waves, so cute. Wow, that thing is actually, it works so well. And it, like you can change the heat setting. I did mine on, it was like 410 in the beginning and then I toned it down a little bit. This piece is still bugging me, but I think I can kind of tuck it. Cause I tried it twice and I want to do it too many times. It like kind of messes up the wave pattern, but ooh, so cute. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. All right, so now I'm going to just add a little bit of shine cream. I'm using this Ion shine cream just to kind of make sure everything stays in, stays in place and that we don't have any frizzy, frizzy on top. Hair is done. I love that crimper. I definitely think it's super on trend right now. And I'm gonna give you guys a little discount so you guys can have one too. I'll make sure I put it in the description. But wow, I love the crimpy look. It's so cute. Like, and it just looks like so fresh. Like, you know, I straighten my hair usually and like, it just looks dead kind of sometimes, unless I have it super short, like blunt cut. But this looks like, like I feel like a Barbie, okay? Now that we have our hair all done, we're gonna go get dressed and go over the pool essentials for the day. Okay, so I'm gonna take you guys out of the bathroom <laughs> and we're gonna go into my room where I have the pool essentials laid out for you guys. So here we go. Okay, so these are all things that I thought I would definitely need at the pool. So obviously, bikini, super cute bikini I got from Zoffel. Um, Some shorts, these are Fiorucci shorts, which I think are just adorable. I love them. They have like the angels on the back, super cute. Of course, I like to spray myself before I go. So this is Victoria's Secret Bali Coconut Palm. It smells amazing. It literally smells like I'm a walking goddess. <laughs> um of course i have my mask i've been using these when i go to the beach and other places just because i know i'm gonna be sweating a lot so i want a disposable mask um a book so this is a book that i was reading and it's really really nice i love this book brene brown is amazing she also does ted talks if you're interested but it's like one of those self-help books and i just love those kind of books because i feel like i can actually learn something and apply it to my actual life so definitely a good read um also i mean if you can't read in the sun then i would suggest maybe like an audiobook or i also have really good playlists that i can share with you guys if you follow me on apple music perfect way to relax of course i have a towel hair tie if I need to put my hair back. Sunglasses. These are the cutest sunglasses ever. Like I'm in love. They're like this cat eye and then they have like 
the Chanel. <laughs> so cute. Um, sunscreen. I use SPF 30 for my body. Um, you could use a higher sunscreen, but I like to still get tan. So 30 seems to be perfect. So I can still get some color, but make sure I'm taking care of my skin at the same time. And then we have this cute little hat to keep the sun out of my face because I don't want any discoloration on my face. I don't want wrinkles. So hat is definitely a must. So I'm gonna put all this stuff on and get my bag ready to go. And yeah, literally never do your makeup in white sweatpants. Like, I don't know what my idea was, but definitely not the right idea because now I have to use stain remover and try and get this out. And sometimes foundation doesn't come out. So I'm heated. Okay, I'm gonna try and do one of those TikTok things. We'll see if it works. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Kick a shoe? Okay, let's see. <laughs> Transition time. Oh shit, hold on. Are you get ready? Okay, I don't think that's how I do it at all. Let me back up so I have a little more space. Ugh, okay, I literally can't do this. Hold on. Oh. All right, let me put the rest of my outfit on. <laughs> my little mist. Hair tie, check. Towel, check. Sunglasses, check. <laughs> it wasn't as smooth as I wanted it to be. Check. Sunscreen, check. Butt, check. Mask, check. I'm actually gonna take my sunglasses off. I want to grab snacks too because I tend to get super hungry when I'm at the beach so or when I'm at the pool and not all pools have service so I like to bring my own little snacks okay this is so weird but I actually I love bringing a bag of carrots just normal carrots because they're super easy I can eat the whole bag and not feel guilty about it and it's just like they're good. They're actually also so good for your skin too. Like they'll help clear up your skin because they have a lot of vitamin A. Bring a dip to put them in because some people think I'm like really weird because I eat carrots just by themselves. But I think they taste good. They're, they're actually sweet. Like whatever. Not here to argue. I'm also going to bring a bag of chips. I love these late July sea salt and lime chips. They're amazing. Super delicious. And then my friend's bringing the salsa, so I don't have to worry about that. But yeah, I'm just gonna bring carrots and chips. <laughs> so yeah. So I will catch you guys later. I'm going to call my Uber now and put my mask on and head out. All right, you guys, so that is my get ready pool day. Get ready with me. So I hope you guys enjoyed and make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and check out my other videos.